So we have this package manager. We can take a look at a lot of categories, audio, video, education, games, and check out what we like and just say, okay, install me this thing. Or we can go, in my case, I want to show you how useful it can be. And we had discovered in this printing, and when we made the scripts, that there is something called formatic. So I went to look for this formatic thing, and it seems it contains a lot of knowledge about printers and drivers, but you don't have to guess it, it says so, but you double click it and that's when it gets interesting. You can see its dependencies, it depends this or it relies on that, but then you see the files. And so you can go and check what's on your system. Some, something happened, something was installed on your system and it's located here. User share, formatic, the database, the source, driver, and then it's a good guess. Uh, HP is probably HP, and then uh, we have to guess what all these things are, but they're all printers, I'm sure, but all kind of numbers. The only number you're interested in is your own printer. So in my case, I would be looking for Canon, and here are all the Epsons already. Here we have some Canons, but mine is not included. I've checked already. So HP's, Infotech, Lexmark, lots of things. So that's only one of them. So that's this one. And that's the DB engine, database engine. So no uh, printer definitions here, but the thing that's going to uh, store our database inside. And here we have another Maxify, uh, Guten Print, Multipass, Pixma, maybe a name you remember. Anyway, it's a long scroll down. And hopefully for you, it's in here. And then you say, oh yeah, then I should install the Fumatic because Eric found my name, Eric found my printer in here somewhere and it looks like, like there is a definition somewhere. There is, they know how to steer because that's what it is, a driver to actually be able to talk to a piece of hardware. So there you go, Lexmark again, Samsung, Toshiba. So that's why I think this tool is interesting because you can really go inside thing and see what has happened to your system. It installed this, it installed that in the user bin, meaning it's the binary, meaning it's a program. So there is your program. And where all, everything else is, is in the libraries, in the user lib. So you can easily read where and where things are being written on your system. There are some icons that here he's going to write, and so on. So enjoy uh, our PAMAC manager, which is an updater and a manager at the same time, and uh, learn more about your system, about applications, about categories, and install more uh, possible software out there. All right, enjoy.